Can I get a oh yeah for season four DXD? We are starting it now. I have to watch episode zero though because apparently it's gonna like change everything. As in the shit that happened in season three doesn't matter. At least the ending portion. So let's see what episode zero season four has for us. New designs, man. <laughs> Even our friends got our shitty friends got new design updates. I mean, everyone did. Oh, oh my God. Oh, hello, Yuma. Let me see updated Yuma. Updated Yuma though, god damn! Honestly, it's not even that bad, this new design. We'll have to see the other characters first though, right? It's so far though, it's fluid. It's very crisp. Look at that titty bounce. Look at that jiggle. Like, they look a lot younger, you know? I don't know how to describe it. The designs... It's a much more modern look and it looks more rounder, more younger, you know? More vibrant, colorful. Okay, okay, okay. So, when Diodora kidnapped Asia... Okay, what happened after this? We go. I, the one who shall awaken. Okay, the prayer, and then she disappears. Look at everyone's new designs, man. They all look very, I don't know, colorful. Even the transportation effect is cooler. You know, before it was just like a pillar of light. So the episode starts right after Asha gets transported to the dimensional gap. So, so the... He's still here too. This is the old Bilzy Bub, was it? I forget. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, look at those abs. Clap his ass. That's right. Fuck you. <laughs> Deserved. I'm glad he still got fucked in the, you know, the actual storyline we're going through. Okay, Juggernaut Drive. This is Juggernaut Drive moment. Are we going to actually have it too? Will it be as epic as in like season three? Is that a fucking ad? Was that a sponsored ad on my top left corner? God damn it, dude. I'm not even getting paid for that. Yes, but non-blood related. Family member regardless. Okay, he's doing the walking thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of here. Wait, doesn't he... Doesn't Drag, like, warn uh, Rias to get out of here? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. No epic chant, though. Here it is! It is like, it's the same voices again. What are these voices? Are they the previous owners of, you know, the Red Emperor Dragon? It's gotta be, right? It's still epic. I think season three... Well, it's because we saw it for the first time, but look, this one is pretty good too. An incomplete form though, right? Konico's first line. Yeah, oh, the wings, man. It just looks so distorted. At least in season three, Drag actually warned them. You know, get out of here before you die. <laughs> just straight up eat him. Yo, these previous Satans are so trash, but they're not really. Because every time they show up, they get defeated so easily. But who they get defeated by are very OP. Like, it's like Azazel, right? It's like Jonah Drive, right? Oh, shit. The yeah, animation is pretty fucking crisp, man. Get the fuck out of here. Well, Kiba might die too. At least they kept the old soundtracks too. I remember the soundtrack. <laughs> Akino's titty in the forefront. I see it. Yes, I see it. Bro, you fucking asked for this. You already died in season three. Get the fuck out of here. Gasper. But it's only for a second, I think. He doesn't hold it for too long, right? Hey, we gotta fucking go. All you old Satans. Y'all get bodied so easily. Here we go. Longest smasher. Just a fat laser beam. Be gone! My man got obliterated not once but twice. That is a feat, dude. She died fucking twice in this anime series. Just back-to-back -back replays. Now, if only they bring Freed back. Please, can they bring Freed back this season? Probably not. Now, this is where Issei continues to go berserk, but then Vali shows up with Asha, right? Jesus. Damn. 
Yo, the laser beam animation is pretty crisp. Maybe even better than before. Vari. Let's see new Vari. Okay. This looks younger. Everybody just looks way younger, right? Vari's hair looks like Bell's hair from Danmach, you know. Vari, juggernaut drive time. Let's go. Yo. Vali's new design. <laughs> He's just showing off his belly button there. Did you see that? Hold up. Hold up. What? The titties. Yeah, the titties. Wait, wait. This is where... Okay, there's the belly button. See? Look at Vali's new design, dude. But hold up. Because... Vali goes juggernaut drive in season 3. And then, like, Rias, I think, a combination of that with Ashi there. Someone's, like, tears falls down. But in this one... Are we gonna have a hilarious outcome here with her titties? A song? A song? Who? who? Shout Irina? What, what the fuck is going on? Oh, god damn. These transition scenes are getting even better. Okay, let's see the nipple. Three, two, one. Shit! It, like, it's more vibrant, right? It's much more vibrant. It's weird when they call her Shido, because, you know, it's Shido. What kind of song is it? Commercial! Asazo came up with the lyrics, by the way. That's the poking of the nipples. I wonder what Vali is thinking about this. Is this truly my rival right now? This is the exact song. Dragon, dragon, opai, dragon. Yeah, what the fuck is this? I don't know. I mean, the kids seem to be having fun. I no, just like talking about boobies in front of kids, but the you guys are fucking kids too! Ridiculous. I can't believe this song is what saves the day right now. Composer Sir Sex. <laughs> Choreography Sarah Fall. He is reacting! React harder! He's saying Opai. I who shall awaken Opai. Yeah, that's a full incantation. Vali going in? Oh, he's still joking about driving, though. That was the most casual incantation, dude. Like, she just fucking whispered it. Oh, so cute. Look. That's right. Go squirt your titty milk on him. Your <laughs> nipples straight up. This is the most ridiculous way to solve the problem. But actually, in season 1 and season 2 High School DxD, they did the same shit. It's always like a ridiculous way to save the day in the season finale. Like the season 3 ending for this was a bit dramatic, right? But this is more in line with what we saw in season 1 and 2. Give a little squeeze, a little honk honk. So, as soon as he grabs the titties, he'll like break the form. This fucking booby dragon song has been going on for the last 10 minutes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Boing, poke. That looks a little sharp, actually. Oh. Ring the doorbell and the sound will happen. There's the moan. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. It is. I mean, the, the, the reason we even got to, like, bounce breaker in the beginning was because of the nipple poke, right? That's how we initially did it. A perfectly fine boob dragon. As long as Konaku approves of us. Alright, and here we are. It's a funny ending, right? Asha's back too, that's right. Oh, thank <laughs> Zenobia, this, this will be friends. Their friendship is something that I overlooked. She cares so much about Asha, dude. But all of this was to save Asha so we can do the three-legged run in the sports festival. <laughs> and look at Vali there. He's flexing his fucking belly button again. Oh, the dragon of dragons. The true red emperor dragon. Look at this slut. Dude, even Vali's pecs, dude. It looks like he has a fucking cleavage. I don't know, bro. They got a lot of Vali Sam fan service. Uh, this is Ophis. Straight up, I think Vali might have bigger titties than Ophis. Like, actually. And Ophis just wants, like, silence, right? So I think she just wants to, like, reside in the dimensional gap and just chill. It's funny when he's, like, walking on all, like, with his feet like this, you know? I mean, the dragon, not Azazel. 
Thank you for the lyrics. Thank you, Star Six, for the composing. Then become stronger. You lack hatred. Oh? I think you've overcome. Kiba and Saji, are they above Issei right now? What the fuck? No, side work. That's how we gotta beat, man. Overcome tradition, because usually these two dragon hosts, right? They're always fated with bad shit to happen. <laughs> That's right, the titties, we gotta protect them. Season 2 ending. We're just the Opai dragon now. And she's a switch princess. Are, are they wrong though? They're not wrong. They're absolutely correct. I want Drag to cry more about the Opai dragon title. Of all of these new designs, Akino looks the most familiar of the previous designs. Right? Akino does. Maybe Zenovia. I like Ash's design here actually more than the old design. Oh yeah, this is where he fa falls and his hands all fucked up, right? Who is this? Huh? Free! Freed! Freed! Freed? This is Freed, right? Am I creating new designs? Hero faction? No, it's not Freed. It's not Freed. I got it too excited. I got too fucking excited! The hero faction? Who is this? Is this Cytorg? I can't really tell. True Longinus? I don't think this is Cytorg, right? Longinus Spear? Who is this guy? Hero faction? Oh shit, credits are already rolling? I, I mean, I guess it's been a... It's been a while. I, that's right. The entire thing was dedicated so that we could save Asha so we could do the three-legged run. Wow, you won the three-legged race. So cool. Anyone behind the gym? Wait, wait, wait. This episode title was something behind the gym. What's gonna happen behind the gym? Is it just a sexual innuendo and there's nothing more to it? Maybe that's what it is. Is this the big turning point? What the fuck, cameraman? What are you looking at? Cameraman, eyes up. You go for a kiss and you fucking focus it. Is this the first time they kissed? I can't honestly remember. There's so many different kiss counters. But Issa usually never does anything sexual with Asha. He never like... He's never, like, perverted towards her. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, you and 17 other girls. <laughs> no, it's just passing up from the happiness. Okay. Happy ending, I guess. All right, we got a fresh reset. All the stuff that happened at the near end of Season 3 didn't really happen. The way that Juggernaut Drive got solved, very funny, you know, answer. We just sang the fucking Opie Dragon. He just poked the nipples. This is actually in line with how we solved the problems in season one, season two, what happens? In this heat of the moment, dramatic moment, what happens? Some kind of degenerate horny memes gets put in and it's just like a funny way to resolve it. Season three was a bit too dramatic, right? This is pretty good. The new designs, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fan. I thought it would be way worse because of how much like people were talking shit, but it's not that bad. In fact, like I'd say that it's more like glossy, more vibrant, the colors like pop out more and maybe the animation is even more fluid. And I heard that season four is going to stay true to the story a lot more than season three. I wonder why they went with the anime only route in season three at the end there. Now, there is a new faction, the hero faction. I don't know what it was. I got too excited. I thought it was freed for a second coming back. He is not coming back. There's some cool guy with the spear. I mistakenly thought that he might have been Cytorg. I don't really know because designs are all new, right? Cytorg has like long sideburns, but I don't think that's really him. But we'll see what happens. But hey. You're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care